Governor Willie Obiano arriving, Professor Dora Kuyele Women Development Center, Oka, to the waiting reception of the chairman of his re election committee, Victor Ume. Other government functionaries, we are representative from 179 communities in Anambra State, women groups from the Muslim community, police officers' wife, religious and cultural women's group, among others. The closing ceremony of the 2017 Women's Summit becomes another spectacle. The summit with the theme, Occupation and Motherhood, Getting the Priorities Right for a Peaceful Home and Society, throws up suggestions from various speakers from the traditional, political and government institutions and how mothers can manage their homes as well as cope with motherhood in addition to commendation for the state governor for his support for women empowerment in the state. The House of Assembly order I watch has recognized the importance of mothers and motherhood in general. We have enacted law as well as numerous resolutions aimed at giving voice, hope, protection, and quality of life to mothers in the state. The law we made to abolish all manner of widow practices are set in force. For the governor, the 2018 budget holds a lot for women. But first, a word of advice for mothers concerning their children in the area of behavioral checks. Then he rules out his plan for the state, giving an insight into the books for 2018, which includes increment of salaries of civil servants across board to commence immediately the budget is passed, uh, marking two billion naira for free disbursement for women groups to finance agribusiness. We have recognized so many things we are going to do for the women. Some I have already mentioned to you. Some will be a surprise. Because I like surprise. Rounded off the program, Governor Biano, on behalf of his wife, distributed 24 sets of oil, gari, and rice processing machines to women cooperatives across the state to support their participation in socio-economic development of their families and the state.